Happy Tuesday, my 4K friends. We're going to get our Tuesday started with our hello song, and then we'll talk about our calendar and your jobs for this day of remote learning. Let's get started, my friends. You know just what to do. Try your best to follow along. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher. How are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends. How are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Lift your arms up. Put your arms down. Lift your arms up. And shake it all around again. Up. Put your arms down. Lift your arms up. And shake it all around. Bend to the left. This face left. Bend to the right. Right. Bend to the left. Left. Bend to the right. Right. Ready? Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher. How are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends. How are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. I hope everybody will have a good day. Look, it's... And we sit quick and quiet to do a body check. Wow, Mrs. Wixom gets our camera nice and close to take a look at our calendar. All right, my friends, let's take a look. Our month is March. And this is the last week of the season of what, what, winter. Very soon it's going to be spring. All right, my friends, let's sing our days of the week song to figure it out. Ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, friends, start over to figure it out. Ready? There's Monday and there's, whoop, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is Tuesday of remote learning, and we are going to see how many days we have been in March on this Tuesday. Count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. A one and a six. That represents the number sixteen, and that means it is six more than ten. That's the number sixteen. And we have so many different ways to represent numbers. We're using ladybugs, but there's a pattern to use those ladybugs to represent how many days we've been in March. And that pattern says, hands, 10 frame, plate, leaf. Hands, 10 frame, plate. What should be next if it follows the pattern? Let's see, my friends. It's a leaf. We have only six ladybugs on our leaf. But I see in the corner, there is a full 10 frame of ladybugs, which means it is one group of 10. So I have 10 and I keep counting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ladybugs. And there's a bunch of words on my calendar card. It says, there are six ladybugs on my leaf. How many more do I need to make 10? So if I have six, and I need 10, how many more fingers or ladybugs do I need to make 10? I have six, and let's count how many more do I need to make 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. How many fingers did I have to add or put together, put up to make 10? Four more ladybugs to make 10. So our math sentence will say, Let's see. Our math sentence will say, how many did we start with? We have six. 
Here's that curly six, that curly number six. And how many more do I need to equal or be the same as 10? Six plus four equals 10. Read that math sentence with me with your pointer power loud and proud. Ready? Six plus four equals 10 ladybugs. That's how many more we need to make 10 ladybugs all together. And on this 16th day in March, my friends, you are going to use your Play-Doh and your blue mat to push, pull, push, pull three times our letter of the week. Letter S. And we have a little curve forward, little curve backwards for the letter S. And S says snakes in the grass. That's on your sound song. Make sure you are practicing your sound songs. And your reading job today. We are going to read the story, How to Trap a Leprechaun. It is our Lucky Leprechaun Month. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So we're going to learn how to trap a leprechaun. And then you have a kindergarten writing job to do to write how you would trap the leprechaun. There's some choices up here. And you will illustrate and label. And when you think you're done, you've only just begun. I want you to use lots of kindergarten skills and illustrate and add lots of details to your illustration of how you will trap a leprechaun. And my friends, um, a, a picture or an object that represents, just like our math word represents, St. Patrick's Day is a lucky clover. And a four-leaf clover is supposed to be a lucky symbol. I want to know for your question of the day, have you ever found a four-leaf clover? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Or I want you to tell me, what is something lucky to you? What's something that symbolizes or represents something lucky in your life? Comment down below, my friends. And as usual, kiss your brain. Do it again. I am so, so proud of you. And keep working hard.